The auto ISO feature in the D300S allows you to set a few parameters and have the camera adjust the ISO to obtain optimum exposure. It's on pretty much all of the Nikon DSLRs now and I believe Canon has a version too. I'll show you how to set it on the Nikon D300S, then we'll talk more about what it is and why you would use it. And here we are in the back of the D300S. First to find auto ISO, you need to go to your shooting menu. And then a ways down you'll find ISO sensitivity settings, there they are. And the first option is just the ISO that you have set on the camera right now. And the next option is ISO sensitivity auto control, which is what we're looking for. The first line is just where you turn it on and off. And then underneath that you have to set your maximum sensitivity and your minimum shutter speed that you um, find acceptable in your situation. So, on maximum sensitivity, you can go all the way from ISO 400 to high 1, and I have mine set on 1600 right now. And then your uh, minimum shutter speed that you find acceptable, you can go all the way from 1 4,000th of a second all the way up to 1 second. And frankly, I don't remember what I was doing with mine last time, but I have mine set on 1 30th. So, that's it, you have it set. Now, you can also tell that it is set by looking at your control panel window, you can see uh, ISO auto blinking in there. When you're setting the maximum sensitivity, or ISO, you should consider how much noise you find acceptable in your photo, because of course at higher ISO, you will have more noise. And when you're setting the minimum shutter speed, you should consider uh, what it is that you're shooting, how steady you can hold the camera, and also what your focal distance is. Uh, something to note is that when you are in P or A, the sensitivity isn't going to change from what you set it at unless your result would be underexposed at the minimum shutter speed um, that you selected. So in other words, the camera will adjust the shutter speed before adjusting the ISO. Um, obviously when you're in S or M, you specified the shutter speed already, so it won't change, just the ISO will adjust. So. Um, other than knowing that you turned auto ISO on, you will be able to tell it's on when you take a photo. You will see ISO auto blinking and the ISO number changing in your viewfinder. Um, keep in mind that it isn't really changing the settings on your camera though. Um, if you were to set your camera to ISO 200 and then take a photo using auto ISO, which adjusted the ISO to like 1600, um, if you checked the camera's ISO setting in your control panel window, you, after you took the photo, you would still see 200, even though you just took a photo at 1600. Um, I put this option on my My Menu in my camera because I tend to forget what it's actually called in the camera, and if I can't find an option immediately, I'm less likely to use it. Uh, I use, uh, do use it most often um, when I'm in aperture priority or shutter priority uh, and I'm just shooting around or sometimes when I'm in tough lighting conditions and I just want one less thing to worry about. Um, the option definitely makes me thankful for um, digital SLRs because you know, obviously you couldn't have done this with a film camera because you're stuck with one ISO. So if you have any questions on auto ISO or if you have anything to share about how you use it, please let me know. My contact information is all up on my website at snapchick.com.